Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have developed a simple uh, Node.js project in using the express. And we have seen about the header, these all things we have seen it. And also we have seen how to serve the static files also using the express.static we have seen. It. And also we have applied the routing, uh, routing also. But the templates which we are trying to do here, these are all the static templates only. So whatever the templates we are having slash users slash add. So these are all the templates if you try to see these are all static templates now we need to use something like dot net uses the razor template like this so we need to use some template engine for this one for node.js if you try to observe if you try to search express template engines so if you try to see in javascript so we have a lot very uh, variety of template engines available in the javascript so if you try to see here some of the things we have been able to see so hb pug haml ejs hbs hbs means handlebars so like this we have so many template engines which has support for the express js some of the packages are listed below or will be outdated so i don't want to bother about these things so out of these things which we will try to implement is the ejs so i will be using this ejs so which is rather will be very easy and we have the, the syntax also very easy to understand. So now if you try to search for the EJS, we are, we can also use the, sorry, not EJS, EJS. We can also use this one, what I can say, handlebars, pug, these all things also we can use it, not a problem. Now here, if you try to see, this is the homepage for the EJS and he, he, EJS syntax is something like, so less than percentage is equal to for, for outputting the variables. Now let's try to install this EJS and we'll, we'll use this one in our express project for the template engines. Why we are using this template engines? In order to make our templates dynamic, we will be using this template engines. So we need to pass the data to the views file. So whatever the logic we have written, so we need to pass the data to the views file so that we can show the data dynamically. So now let's try to use this VJ, uh, EJS, not VJS, sorry. So here I am using npm install ejs so it will take some time to install this ejs so after installing this ejs so for actually in our node raw project so if we, if we are not using any framework and all those things if you are using the node.js project integrating the template engine for the node.js project takes lots of efforts so now thanks to the express.js framework so with express.js framework we can integrate the template template engine very easily in our node project so for integrating this template what we will be trying to do is let's go to the api reference and in this application so we have a method that is nothing but an app dot set okay so this one will set the template engine for us so if you try to see here app dot set for this app dot set <coughs> we will be having so many options so we can have so we can provide so many options for this one Inside this one, so we'll be having one option that is nothing but a view engine. So this is the view engine. So the default engine extension to use when omitted. So here you can provide the view engine. And also here the views. Views means the, the HTML files where these views are currently located. So these are the two things which are very, which are very important for integrating the template in our express.js. Now let's try to see here. So EJS has been successfully installed. This one we need to install as a dependency, not as a dev dependency. So here we have installed the EJS, Bootstrap, Body Parser, Express. Notebook also we are using. So these are the things we are using. Now let's go on to the app.js. If I go into this app.js, in this app.js, if you try to see, so these are all for serving these static files. So you can use here static files serving. And if you try to see here, these are all routes. So these are all routes. And this one is in starting the server. So here we will be initi initiating the express. And these are all the routes uh, import. And these are all normal imports. So these are the things which we are using. Now, what we need to do is before parsing and all those things, when the express is initialized, so we need to set the template engine. So what is our template engine right now we are using? It is the EJS that is extendable JavaScript engine. So now app dot set we need to we have I have shown you right. 
so what is the method so app dot set and here we need to mention the view engine so view engine what is the view engine we are trying to see ejs and now we need to set the path so if you try to see here in our express js if i try to open the views the default value so here the third column is nothing but the default value if you don't provide the views here the default is nothing but it will take the views directory which is available so right now we are also maintaining the same path only here we are using the views only but if you have something like html or some uh, some other file name for some other folder name for maintaining the views file so you need to mention that for path here app dot set so the name of the temp the name of the folder which the templates are residing is views sorry views i can i can mention these are uh, normally present in the views i am mentioning it as a views if you don't have if you if you have another directory you can mention the directory name here so that's it so now we have integrated the ejs into our express js project now let's try to first change this 404 file so right now it is using 404.html so let's try to change it to template engine if you go to our views folder so here this is our 404.html right so now we have to use the ejs in our project so now we need to change this one to ejs so this is the format we need to use so now our templates all the html templates which should be in the format 404.ejs this is this is our default template engine now if you try to see the output so let's try to start the server npm start so let it start so the node man will start the server so it has started server started at port 3000 so if you go here and if you try to refresh so this one is normal html file so if you try to write some random root which is not present so it is trying to check something like 404.html oh sorry sorry so the problem what you are having is here app.js instead of having this send file okay we are not having this send file right so here we instead of having instead of using this send file for the templates in express.js provides a method that is nothing but render method this render takes the default template engine ejs and it will search for the file which is having an ejs extension and now here i can provide just 404 that's it so now here it will try to check in the views folder so which was set as the views default directory views folder for the 404.ejs the template engine is ejs so it will try to check for 404.ejs so here it will be finding and it will try to execute it if you try to see the file now we are able to get a page not found so now successfully we are able to get this one now let's try to pass some data to the 404 for example let's say that so here title it is having is in the 404 home page let's try to pass the page title to this template from the routing so here i can create a variable something like views data and this is an object and here i can write page title it is of type something like page not found so oh, everything got capital page not found so this is the data which i want to send it so here in as the second parameter for the render you can pass the object so now whatever the object we are sending into the template file so these variables will be directly useful in the template now let's go into the 404.ejs instead of having here so what i can use is ejs has a syntax that is nothing but less than percentage is equal to and i can use the name here page title that's it percentage less than oh sorry percentage less than that's it now if you try to see the output see let's refresh and now we are able to see the title it's a page not found the title has been converted into page not found so this is how we can pass the data to the templates by making the templates dynamic using the ejs so we are we will be using this ejs through, throughout the project so we'll try we'll try to see this is how we'll be using this one hope you understood about this rendering of this template how to install this ejs and how to set the view engine in the express project and also how to pass the data to the template we have seen it if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you